Like, I've got to be honest, I'm going to get shot down here, but I'm not a massive fan of 10-inch speakers. <laughs> My name is James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Ah, oh, yes. Um, and we're still having an amp day. I need to take this out because it's rattling me here. Um, so a little bit before the Christmas holidays, <laughs> I treated myself to some uh, more amp goodness mm. uh, in the form of this baby. This is the Rivera Pubster 25. Now, my first issue... Yeah. What do the Americans know about a pub? It's true. It's, um, it should be the Barster. I've been after something Rivera-esque, Fender-esque, if you will, for a yeah. little while. Yeah. Um, Mason from Vertex FX mm -hmm. is on the record as saying the Fender Concert Rivera Edition is yeah. one of his favourite amps and, you know, the go-to most Portable, it, versatile, blah, blah, blah. It was. So, yeah, the, the, that amp was designed by Paul Rivera. Yes. So Paul Rivera then started his own company called Rivera Amps. Actually, I don't know if that was before or after. I'm not sure which. Well, who, but who cares? <laughs> um, of which there is this baby. This is uh, getting on a little bit now, but it, there, were, there was a reissue of the Pubster um, as a head and a cab model. In about 2012, we looked in a, a Sweetwater video from way back when, when everyone yep. was looking a lot younger. Um, but I picked this up at the auctions recently, and I'm going to have to just check the price because I can't remember what I paid. But de I paid 360 of your finest English pounds for this little amp. Um, all valve, um, handmade, not not hand wired. It's not a. It's not. It's not boutique. <clears throat> there is a PCB in there. Um, little 10 inch speaker in there. Okay. And the jury was out to start with, wasn't it for you? I've got to be honest, I plugged it in and it's so brittle because I don't really like, I've got to be honest, I'm going to get shot down here, but I'm not a massive fan of 10 inch speakers. I'm not, unless it's a bass. And then yeah. four tens or two tens and a yeah, 15 yeah, yeah. sounds amazing. Yeah. Um, but I wanted, I've been looking for something Fender-y, rivera -y for a little while for the studio. Mm -hmm. Would have gone head if I had the, op the option. Right. But this came up for, for, you know, next to no money. It's really, I mean, for that price, you can't go wrong. A American made. Well, it's still a boutique amp. Boutique amp. Yeah. For 360 quid plus taxes is not bad. And it sounds great. It's got some weird kind of, Rivera call it a, 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 a separate channel. I don't think it is. I think it's a boost circuit. And it sounds a bit like this. I'm going to put this back in because it's quite loud. It is quite loud. Yeah. So to bring the boost in. It's it's a good sounding amp. It's a good sounding amp. The clean channel for me is where it's at. That's the thing about these sort of 6v6 type amps. They don't break up in a in the way that I would normally like an amp type mm -hmm. breakup. I like that. I like more of a PC30 sort of breakup, but uh, it gets a bit fuzzy. And then we discovered by putting a tube screamer in front of it. to thinking and that's always a dangerous thing if you don't like 10 inch speakers what can you do about it well you plug into a 4x12 
And this is where this amplifier turns into a complete beast. So, um, it should be said, there are two speaker outputs on the back. There's the output which says use this one first, which we are currently using for the 1x10 internal. You can, if you want, just whack the 4x12 on the back as well and have the 10 and the 12s going. Mm -hmm. Or, as I'm going to do, I'm going to unplug the internal 10 and just run it through the 4x12. Obviously, they are different speakers. The speaker in there is stripped of any marking or anything like Definitely. that, so we can't tell what it is. Um, we're then going to move the mic onto the 4x12. Now, I know that that speaker of the 4x12 is my favourite. That one there, yeah. Um, it just is. And for some <laughs> reason, it always is the second one from the top. I don't know. Um, but listen to this. Listen to the difference. <laughs> sudden it becomes a lot more of a beast doesn't it that's on that's on four mm. so now haven't we discovered that four is about the sweet spot uh, for yes, kind yeah. of let's most it, sort of well let's see if it gets louder <laughs> Goose for the sloppy. That, That's an awesome little thing, isn't it? Do you know what I'd do with this? What's that? I know I, what you're gonna say. What? Take the make a box for the and make it a head only. Make it a little head. Yeah. Make that a head. Get rid of that thing. Yeah. Get rid of the box. Let's have a look. It's probably easily not. done. Yeah, it's not a big job. No, no, no. Easily done. Go to uh eBay, Zilla. get an amp. Oh, yeah, Zilla would and buy yeah. a buy a box. Yeah, get Zilla to make a box for it, and yep. I would stick that in, because that sounds fantastic. Through a 4 by 12 Well, through, through a 12-inch speaker. Yeah. That's what it's, I mean, that sounds, that's... screams the argument that everyone's been making for about the last 12 months that it is the speaker and the cabinet that makes the difference. It, well, it's definitely, it's a speaker. It's, it's the sound of speakers. I mean, you get like an old Marshall 4x12 like this and it just sounds... For, again, next to no money. I picked that for 200 quid. But no one wants it anymore because no one's got the space for this for these things. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, and, uh, yeah, you have. But, you know, that's it. It's, um, and, and personally, I think you could pick these up for cheaper than 200 quid. I've always wanted a 4x12. I've always wanted the, um, the, the, the JCM 800A cab. Yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they are so directional, though. If you stand up next to that, you go, where's all top end gone? Yeah, yeah. You get in front of it, you go, whoa, there it is. Cuts yeah, you in yeah. half. They are so directional. But actually, for recording, that's quite a good thing. That's it. I think that's the thing that... Uh, that I take away today, that thing just sounds incredible. I was going to put four different speakers in it. No, don't, don't change But that. actually... Don't change that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Yeah, do not change that. That sounds fantastic. Anyway, um, that camera, isn't it? It is, yeah. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you've got something out of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, click on the bell button, all that sort of stuff. I'm Paul. I'm James. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>